Today on iPod 70, Ill Cafe and Ill Cafe. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to another coffee tasting video. I'm your host Sterling Miller. We are an espresso centric channel. We deal with the original line and the virtual line of Nespresso. If that is what you're looking for, you have found the right channel. For my returning Podhead family, any and all announcements will be at the end. But without further ado, let's get to today's star attraction. It is Il Cafe and we're going to be putting it up against Il Cafe. 2021 against 2020. Let's take a look first at what they have to say. All right, so Il Cafe, let's see, roasting. We split roast the coffees to give the Robustas a darker roast. A lighter but slightly longer roast of the Colombian Arabica beans keeps the acidity intact and develops a hint of a nutty note. Interesting. So they're saying here that we have roastiness of five. Incredible. Acidity of one. Not sure how they kept that in check, but we're going to check it out. Bitterness, four. Body, four. Eleven. Out of eleven for intensity. We will definitely be doing that. Let's check out their aromatic profile. One sip of Il Cafe offers your palate the complete Italian coffee experience. It's an intense coffee, beautifully complex in its roasted and cereal notes, and with a smooth and velvety texture. If it is like last year, that is gonna be oh so true. Hints of woody and cocoa aromas add to this classic coffee's rich character. Its lingering aftertaste makes this a coffee to remember. Okay, we got kind of a basic green pod. Let's take a look at last year's pod. So there's the pods and basically there's no difference between them, except there is. This was an absolute gorgeous pod last year. That royal blue with that gold and they've gone to basically, it, it might almost look dark green. It's almost a, like a dark forest green color on it. It is labeled on the bottom. I, I just, how do you go from this gorgeous blue pod with gold to this basic green? Ugh. But hey, you know what? It's what is inside that matters. So, Il Cafe, we got cocoa notes, some nutty notes, let's go brew a shot. Okay, we're gonna get Il Cafe, the new one going first. We're then gonna brew the other capsule and then we'll do an AB on the two. So let's get this guy going. All right, those are done. You got to see the high speed on the new one for this year. And we did, uh, we brewed this one right after it. So the crema has settled a little bit on the new one, but this, the old one last year ended with what appeared to be a little more crema. It also seemed to brew it at a different speed. So I don't know. I mean, they both smell there is a slight smell difference. This one's got a little bit more of a, a bitter smell to it than this one. Level 11, yeah, very little light coming through them. Let's go give them a taste. I just wanted to point out that this one's the newer one. The crema is lighter than the old one, which has a darker crema on it. So interesting, subtle differences. All right, so we're gonna taste the new one for 2021 first. Okay. There is some, 
There is some differences there. Give me a second. So I had to rinse my mouth really well because there is a lingering taste on both, which I love. I love when you can take a sip of coffee or a shot and then have that lingering taste. So let's go back to 2021. Nice texture. Little bit of the, little bit of the woody cocoa, but it's got a little bit of a, uh, a drying effect a little bit on my tongue. Not like the wine drying effect though. This just has a little bit of a drier effect on it. It seems like it maybe doesn't quite have as much oil. Let's try the other one. They're close. This one has a little bit more initial bite than I think this one does. It could be because obviously I've had to store this ever since 2020, so the coffee could have changed in there a little bit. Both are very, very good. Both have very similar tastes. There's a little subtle differences just in the body. This one doesn't, for me, This one's a little bit more watery to me than this one is. They're both good, and that probably is why we saw the crema layer play out different on the two. This one, I would say, so let's, let's say that the flavors are coming through. It's got a little bit of a woody note and that little light cocoa note in there. That wonderful bitter is coming through, but again, it's not acidic at all. So let's take those flavors and say this one, the 2020 comes through at like level 10. This one comes through at like level 8.5 or eight. It's just a little less intense, but it's good. They're both good. And I think if you weren't doing an AB, where it's gonna be interesting to see is how well does this hold up in a uh, milk drink, because that's truly where this shined, is when you put it as an iced coffee, it just blasted through and brought its flavors and gave you that punch of coffee. This one I'm wondering, is it gonna give us the punch that this one had? Because it seems a slight bit tamer. Let's take a look. So let's go round two. Let's go brew another shot. All right, so we got our standard 20 ounce cup, filled it full of ice. We're gonna brew our shot right on top of that. Coming over here, we're gonna take uh, six ounces of whole milk or 177 milliliters. We're gonna put it in the Aerosino 4. We're gonna do what we did last week and we're gonna add in two tablespoons of Hershey's. Get another two tablespoons, or I mean another tablespoon. Then we're gonna put it onto the cold froth setting, get the milk going. I'm actually drawing one more shot out of the next machine because I wanna see if there's any difference between the Virtuo Plus and the next brewing the new Il Cafe. So that's what you're gonna hear in the background going on. We got this wonderful frothy drink to put together. And you can just see again, just the creaminess of that milk. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go give these a taste. So the next brewed it differently than the Virtual Plus did. It almost came out like the old uh, capsule did out of the Virtual Plus, it almost came out like that, where it was a lot of crema. Give this one a little taste here. I don't think it made much difference in the taste. Uh, off camera, I had my wife taste these two. She agreed. They taste very, very similar. This one's just like, subdued. It's just a little, it's like dropped a notch. So 
Let's get the uh, obtusely long spoon and get this stirred. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so happy this is back. Let's give it a taste. Rock and roll. That works all day long. Man. So this one definitely benefits from the addition of milk, that chocolate. It, you almost end up with, I really dig this. This, we have little behind the scenes. Every Sunday we have coffee. The neighbors show up and, you know, we might have a couple of people. We might have six, eight people. It just depends on the Sunday. But one of the favorites of all of our guests have been this new one that I've showed you a couple of weeks now, which is just the milk and the Hershey syrup and a nice pod. We've been using Ice Legero for it. This Il Cafe, for the ones that like a little more bite into their coffee, this Il Cafe punches through. It's almost like you get a bitter chocolate. It's extremely delicious. You get that bite from the pod and then this wonderful Hershey syrup chocolate taste. So it's like this bitter coffee bite chocolate milkshake and it's wonderful, wonderful. And the, got a nice creamy texture. Part of that is because of the pod. I do believe this has less oil in it than this. It just, texture wise, this one feels like it has more oil than this. Adding the texture back into it, bringing that, uh, having the Aracino froth the milk for you, that really adds that wonderful creamy texture back into the milk. So for this guy, wow. It, especially if you like uh, milk and chocolate, ladies, this is gonna be great. Outstanding. Let's take a look at what they're doing. Il Cafe. They say smooth, velvety, roasted, and cereal notes. Again, my taste buds are defective when it comes to tasting cereal notes. Intensity 11, 850 a sleeve or 85 cents a capsule. This one plays out really, really well. In fact, uh, it's playing out so well that my wife behind the camera is begging me not to drink all of it. So uh, let's have just one more drink. Uh, this one, I think especially if you're gonna add it into some milk and some syrups, I think you could get away with a chocolate flavored syrup, uh, the Hershey's, wonderful as with the Hershey's. I think this is gonna play well, kind of whatever you put with it, but it's gonna need to be a flavor that can stand up to a little bit of bite in there. And so it's probably gonna be the heavier flavors, not so much the fruity flavors. So I would say like your uh, caramels, your chocolates, your toffees, that kind of stuff probably will play best with this pod. But overall outstanding. I'm gonna give this guy, man, it, I'm really kind of stuck on this one a little bit, but I feel like if I didn't have this sitting here, I would give it the rating I'm gonna give it. So based on this by itself, five out of five pods, because if I didn't have this sitting here, I think that's what I would give it. And I think you're gonna love it. So it's a staple now, it's here for forever. This is outstanding news. That'll bring us to a close of this week's video. Yeah, it's my wife's getting more nervous by the second. I thank you so much for your time. Uh, for those of you that haven't picked up any merchandise, uh, the store and the discounts, especially for the patrons, are still there. Uh, make sure you pick those up before the 18th. For those of you that have picked up the merchandise, uh, it seems like it's about a two week window or so right in there to get, to get it. Hopefully you all get it before October because I wanna launch the contest in October. We're gonna have fun with it and it's gonna be a $50 gift card. So what you're gonna be submitting will be a photo or a short video and we'll feature it here on the channel 
and we'll have a blast with it then in October. If you've made it this far into the video, make sure that you hit like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so that you're alerted anytime we drop a new video, which is every Friday. For my wonderful patrons, you'll see some, again, new names. I can't thank you guys enough. It, 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 it's truly inspiring and humbling at the same time. And I know you guys uh, take the time to go over to Patreon, sign up and support the channel directly. And that honestly means the world to me. And I you try to come up with what can I say? What more, how can I convey that each week? And the only thing I can say is thank you. And, and I hope you know it's a sincere thank you. Thank you for what you do and thank you for supporting the channel. My small token of appreciation is we've given you the merchandise uh, discounts and also you get the videos hopefully commercial free and a few days before everybody else. So that's my small way of saying thank you for what you do. If you would like to support the channel, join us over at patreon.com forward slash IPON70. It's the same as the YouTube channel and you too can get the videos a few days early and hopefully commercial free. But until next Friday, have a great rest of your day.